Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ. And make sure you hit that like button. We do start this video out at the bye week, and we have some bad news. Jermaine Billups, Trayvon Polite, and Jeffrey Stewart all commit to different schools besides us. You see, we were not that close, to be honest. But we do add some more prospects to the board now that we're at the bye week. Andre Holiday is a safety and I just really like his potential a lot. He's going to be not a fast guy. He's coming coming in at 77 speed, but he actually can get after the ball pretty well at 81 pursuit, 73 tackling. I think that's not bad with low 70s man and low 70s zone. Then we actually add to Vita Bryan, a 69 overall athlete. And you can see him. He's kind of interesting. I don't know what he's going to be. He's only got 65 speed, 70 catching, though. I, I don't know what he's going to be. Is he going to be a tight end, an uh, offensive lineman even? I don't know. But we do head into this week with some surprising news. We are actually ranked number 16. I don't know how we jumped up this far, but somehow it happened. We're at 3-1. and one. We just upset Miami. Maybe they're thinking because you upset the number four team in the country, you can jump up that high. But, I mean, it definitely does not justify a number 16 ranking. I'm actually really shocked by that because we are going up against Wyoming. And you know who we had to watch out for. Kellen Overstreet, who straight destroyed us for over 200 yards last year. And he's going to be looking to do the same thing again. You see his last game, 34 carries, 156 yards, and three touchdowns. He's going to be a handful in this one so here we go they do have cj johnson still at receiver he takes it back for the 26 yard return but here comes that man out for his senior season the last game we will get to play them as they come out to start this game on offense so here's a quarterback vanderwall giving it off to overstreet to start this game he picks up a block in a hole that opens up so wide already for 22 yards and a first down. So now at the 50 yard line, here's a handoff to the left side. Here's Overstreet picking up a couple of blocks and using a stiff arm, getting up field and picking up a gain of 17 as he moves the chains. So now at the 30 yard line, here's a fake end around, but giving it to Overstreet instead. And he picks up 10 yards, three runs, three first downs for Kellen Overstreet. So now at the 22 yard line, handoff to the left side. Here's Overstreet getting to the outside. Breaking through a double team tackle, picking up eight as he makes it a second and two. Handoff up the middle on the next play. Here's Overstreet, another big hole. He's getting in for the touchdown, 14 yards up the middle. And man, that was easy. Every single play went for at least eight yards, and that was too easy. Five plays, five runs, and a touchdown. So now down 7 0. Here is Montel Aaron onto the field, not having the greatest of seasons. You see, he only has four touchdown passes. As we are three and one right now, but hey, we need to get it to go, get it going with this passing game, especially getting it into the end zone. As we're throwing for a lot of yards, we're just not getting into the end zone. So now on a first and ten, here quick slant across the middle. There is Trey Walker, the junior. He gets 12 yards on that and picks up the first down. Now past the 50 on a first and ten. Here's Montel Aaron throwing across the middle. That's another dime, and that's the Trey Walker. Perfect timing, junior to junior as he makes it a first down throw. And look at the chemistry on that one as he holds on in traffic. So now at the 25 yard line, quick throw across the middle. Look who it is, no surprise here, Trey Walker. Three catches for about 50 yards so far on this drive as here's the more Ziegler inside the red zone. P picking up eight yards on that carry, making it a third and three inside the five. So on the next play here is Tyler Nevins making his way into the end zone for a touchdown. And that's a 7-7 game already as, man, Wyoming's coming for us because they know we're ranked. And they, they know we don't deserve it. We really don't deserve it. But <laughs> somehow we get that 16 ranking. So now on the next drive, here's Vanderwall under center throwing across to the right side. And that's going to be caught by his tight end, Oak Wally, for 16 yards. So now on a first and 10 under center, quick throw out to C.J. Johnson. He's picking up eight as he moves the chains once again to a second and two. So now Overstreet getting a handoff to the right side, breaking a tackle, Bruh. somehow avoids another one and gets in for the touchdown. Kellen Overstreet just torching us so far in this first quarter, making it 14 to seven. 
So now on the next drive, here's Montel Aaron dumping it off to Ziggler in the passing game this time. He's picking up 10, and that's going to be almost a first down. So we do eventually pick it up on a first and 10. Throwing to the right side. There's Trey Walker open. They cannot guard him as he's had pretty much every pass has been caught by him. He's got five catches so far in this one. So now here is Ziggler getting the counter to the left side, and he's going to be stopped there for a loss of about one. So we do end up getting four yards on a second down on a third and six. Throwing out to the left side, there's Billy Humphreys taking a huge hit, but holding on to that one, picking up a gain of 11 as he makes it a first down. So now on a second and 10, quick throw across the middle. That's tipped by Gandy, making it a third and 10. Here's Montel Aaron scrambling out to the right side. Gonna take it himself, and he's gonna die for the first down. He's gonna pick it up. That's a gain of 12 and he's gonna make it inside the five for this first and goal carry to the right side. Here is Ziggler getting into the end zone for the touchdown, and we're going back to back here, shot for shot, 14 to 14. So now here towards the end of the first quarter, here's Vanderwall, quick throw out to the left for five yards to Austin Conway. So now under center, second and five, handing it off to Overtree, picking up a couple of blocks, Brown. and he has a huge hole, and he is going to take off just like that, and nobody is going to touch him. 69 yards for Kellen Overstreet. Wow, look at this. I mean, this blocking is just absolutely perfect, as wow is he torching us so far in this game, and that was all in the first quarter. So now here's Montel Aaron coming back out to start the second quarter, throwing across the middle, finding the freshman Matt Pollard as he picks up a gain of six. So a couple plays later here on a third and 10, throwing out to the right side here is Ziggler, but he can't hold on to it. And they force the punt, the first punt of the game by either team. So now here is Wyoming back out on the next drive. Running a man in motion under center is Vanderwall, handing it off to who else but Overstreet. He breaks a tackle, actually runs Ethan Aguayo straight over and gets tackled by Trey Webb. Another first down. So now first and 10, running the screen pass out to the left side. This time Isaac Tagui is going to be there for the stop. A loss of four on that screen. So now second and 14, here is Overstreet breaking a tackle to the left side, picking up another gain of about four but that's gonna make it a third and long. Under center, here's Vanderwall throwing to the right side. He's got a man wide open, CJ Johnson, and somehow Nehemiah Shelton gets beat off of the line, and that's two huge plays for this Wyoming offense. And wow, CJ Johnson just breaks the press on that, and he's wide open downfield, making it a 14 point lead for Wyoming. So now on the next drive, here's a throw out to the right side. Here is Carl Wolf getting open, and the walk-on freshman picks up a big gain of about 25. So now on a first and 10, here is Montel Aaron handing up the middle to Tyler Nevins. He's picking up a gain of 11, and he makes it a first and 10 once again. So here, Montel Aaron dropping back, but this time taking a sack, a loss of nine yards, Garrett Crawl on that one. So now second and 19, faking the jet sweep, rolling out to the right side and throwing that way. He's gonna get picked off by Hall. And wow, what a bad throw on that one. He actually had a man open at the cut, but you see Bailey Gaither actually got the ball late. He had ran a good route, but a late throw by Montel Aaron forces that interception. So now here's Wyoming back out on offense. Under center is Vander Wall on a third and five. We have an opportunity sending a blitz, but he throws off his back foot and somehow gets it away to Austin Conway. How did he make that throw? How did he see him open across the field? And he picks up the first down. So now in a first and 10, here's a carry to the right side. Look at Andre oh, Armstead, the God. freshman, straight mowing over the tight end on that one. But still, Kellen Overstreet gets seven yards up the middle. So now facing a third and in inches, here's Overstreet once again up the middle. He's picking up a first down, gain of nine. Are we really surprised? So now second and 15, two minutes left in this first half. Here's Vanderwall throwing out to the right side and somehow fits it to Kellen Bruh. Overstreet. And he breaks away, breaks a net tackle Bruh. and breaks another tackle and gets in for the touchdown. How in the world did he get that pass in there? Somehow between all of those guys, it goes straight to Kellen Overstreet and he breaks two tackles 
getting into the end zone. And just like that, we are down 21 points in the first half. But here on the next drive, nice start to this drive as Matt Pollard gets a big gain of 47 and gets it inside the 30-yard line on the first play. So now first and 10, scrambling out to the right side at the 30-yard line. Here's Montel Aaron. He's diving forward for a gain of seven as he moves it to a second and three. Here's a counter play to the outside. Here is Zamor Ziegler getting out there and getting to the 10-yard line as he gets a 12-yard gain. So now we do milk this clock down under 20 seconds. Here's Tyler Nevins on the carry up the middle, and he gets in. And that's a gain of seven and a touchdown. But we are still down by 14 points going into half. I don't know. Can we stop this running game in Kellen Overstreet? We'll have to see. So now to start the second half, here we go. We do get possession here as we've had possession in the second half every single game this season on the first pass, getting it over to Carl Wolf, and he's going to break free, and he's going to show some rare speed as he's not the fastest guy, and he picks up 73 yards on the first play of the second half. I mean, that's just a nice route run on that one. They do send the cover zero, no help over the top, and Carl Wolf takes it 73. So now on the second play here on a first and goal, here is the Moore Ziggler, and all we need is two plays. And we get in for the touchdown, and we're back down to a seven-point game. So now here to start the second half with the ball, Wyoming, handing it off to Kellen Overstreet. He's got 200 yards rushing, but that time we do stop him in the backfield. But here's Austin Conway getting open on the outside. They have the same exact weapons as last year, so this is a very, very experienced offense. If they can put it all together, they, they might be scary good this season as Kellen Overstreet gets another carry. He's at 211 yards rushing. So now on a second and 10, throwing out to the left side here is Jackson Marcotte as he picks up five. So now third and five under center, throwing out to the left side. There's Austin Conway again as they just have so many leaders on this offense as they pick up another first down. So here's Kellen Overstreet trying to get up the middle. He only picks up a gain of two as we get him down to a third and nine. So here's Vanderwaal from the shotgun, throwing out to the right side. He's going to find Conway, but he can't keep his feet in bounds and hold on to the ball, as even if he would have caught that, that was probably out of bounds, and we do get them to settle for the field goal. But on the ensuing drive, here is Tyler Nevins getting in for the carry as he picks up a gain of 12 and a first down. So now first and 10, quick throw over the middle. There's Trey Walker. And that chemistry is just unmatched. There's no other guy like Trey Walker on this team. He can get open at any point, and he picked up the first down on that one. So now first and 10, carry up the middle. Here's Zamor Ziegler using his juke moves. He's picking up 12 yards on that one. So now Zamor Ziegler still in the game, this time picking up the counter play, getting to the outside, and he's getting a gain of nine as he moves the ball to the 15. So now we do eventually pick up the first on a second and 10 this time. Rolling out to the right side here is Montel Aaron keeping it. He's picking up 10 as he shows some running ability getting inside the five. So now on a second and goal, hand the ball off to Tyler Nevins and that's two yards up the middle for the touchdown. And look at this lead, started at 21, down to just three. So here's Vanderwall scrambling out to the right Bruh. side. He gets pushed and look at that. He gets a lane to the outside. How did he pick up 20 yards on that one? So now first and 10, quick throw over the Bruh. middle. There's a pass and a catch by CJ Johnson and somehow avoids the tackler by Jonathan Leonard. Look at this. I mean, how did he avoid this tackle? He ran straight into him, but didn't even tackle him. So now second and 10 under center. Here's Vanderwall throwing out to the right, left side. There's Marcotte again. He's picking up a gain of 10 as he moves the chains once again for Wyoming. So now they do move it inside the 10 yard line on a first and goal, pitching it out to Overstreet. And we've actually bottled him up in this third quarter as he hasn't been able to break loose at all. So now on a third and goal, here is the screen pass out to Overstreet. Speaking of the devil, here he goes inside the five and we do stop him and we get them to settle for another field goal. So on this drive, we have a chance to take the lead and here's a good start. Here's the more Ziegler getting upfield for a gain of 31. 
That actually might be the longest run from scrimmage this whole season as he picks up the first down. So now on a third and seven, tossing out to Ziggler. Here he is picking up another first down. So Ziggler's been actually pretty active in this game as he's had a long run and a couple of clutch catches. So now on a first and 10, here's a throw out to Billy Humphreys. And he's picking up 25 yards, the junior, as he moves the ball inside the 10. So now six minutes left in this game. And here is Tyler Nevins on the carry. And he's getting up the middle for a touchdown. He gets four rushing touchdowns so far in this game. As that makes it a one-point lead, we come all the way back. So now here is C.J. Johnson on the screen pass on the next drive. He's getting 16, and he makes it a first down at the 42. So under center, here's Vanderwall. Quick throw out to C.J. Johnson once again, and another 15-yard game for him as he's having a pretty good game through the air. So now on a first and 10. Here is finally another carry to Kellen Overstreet, but this time he gets bottled up for a gain of one. Wow, has this been a complete 180 from the first half, stopping Kellen Overstreet. So now on a second and nine, throw it out to the right side, getting it out to Overstreet, but look who it is. It's the freshman, Andre Armstead on the tackle for a loss of five. So now third and 15, here's Vanderwall thrown across the middle. That one's actually gonna be, oh, it's almost picked off. Isaac Tagia had it in his hands and yet he does force the punt. So now four minutes left here in the game. We had to milk the clock, but also we had to pick up some first down. So here's a quick throw to Trey Walker as he picks up a gain of seven. So now a third and three thrown across the middle and that's Trey Walker. He gets it and holds on to it. Gain of 15 as he's over 100 yards in the game with that catch. So now first and 10, quick throw over the middle. Here is Billy Humphreys. He's picking up 16 as he gets towards the 50-yard line. So counter play out to the right side. Here's Zamor Ziegler getting upfield. He's picking up a first down. Look at this offense. Ziegler's up to 99 yards rushing. Can we have our first 100-yard rusher of this season as a quick throw out to Bailey Gaither? Picks up eight. So now third and one at the 30-yard line. Here's a run up the middle, and there's Tyler Nevins following his blocks, and they have to burn another timeout. So one more first down wins us the game. Here's a handoff to Ziegler. He's getting up the middle for two yards and makes it a 100-yard game for him. So third and five, a first down seals it. Quick throw out to the right side. That's Bailey Gaither, and he dives to the one-yard line, and that is going to seal the game. We're not going to do anything stupid here. We're just going to kneel it and come away with a 21-point comeback victory on the road, and wow, what a game. What a game from this offense. The defense had a bad, bad first half, but turned it around in the second half as we bottled up Kellen Overstreet after he just obliterated us in the first half. We shut him down in the second half. He only gets 25 yards rushing in the second half after a 200-yard first half. And wow, that's just night and day. So Ziggler does go over 100 yards in this one for the first time in San Jose State dynasty history. In this dynasty, we have a 100-yard rusher. Trey Walker goes over 100 yards receiving, and so does Carl Wolf. so two 100-yard receivers. I think that's actually the first time that's happened where we get two wide receivers over 100 yards. I believe last year we actually had a game where Ty Cottrell and also our tight end go over 100 yards as well. So that's kind of a, you know, a big deal for the program. But we did end up giving up so many yards on the ground. That's been kind of the thing that we got to address in recruiting and just also getting better with just our rotations, formations, calling plays, things like that. Or maybe we're just a second half defensive team. I don't know. But if we come away with the victory and I got to say, you know, a lot of guys had a pretty good game. I'd say that Trey Walker had a great game on offense. He was just getting open at Wills. The more Ziegler runs for 100. And on defense, I can't really single out one guy, but if I really, really had to choose, I would have to say just our linebacking core pretty much turned it around in the second half, stopping the run, and that was actually a big, big difference. So, you, man, we go 1-0 in conference. I mean, this is a good start to conference play, but it's going to get tough because we all know that some of these teams end up playing really well in conference play, and since we're ranked, I'm pretty sure we're going to get their best game. So... 
we are ranked 16 we come away with the victory our first game ranked and we win so hit subscribe hit that like button you don't want to miss any action coming up so stay tuned let's get it let's go